By spring 1953, the Korean air war was in stalemate. The US military, keen to capture the Russian technology, offered a huge reward and political asylum to any pilot that delivered a MiG to South Korea. No one had yet responded. The Americans were especially anxious to get their hands on a MiG-15. The Americans made an offer of $100,000, equivalent to several million dollars today, and political asylum for the first pilot who would defect and deliver a MiG intact. A 21-year-old North Korean pilot, Lieutenant No Kum Sok, an ardent anti-communist, was already planning one of the most spectacular escapes from the communist bloc. So my aim was that how to defect successfully and land on an American air base so that I can ask for the political asylum. So on the September 21st, Sunday morning, even before the breakfast, I got in the plane and took off to north. And then the plane went to north and I came down south and toward the Pyongyang, toward the east. Then that's where I finally made the defect. It was not easy. In fact, that defection was harder than the equivalent to, say, a 50 combat mission. Now south of the demilitarized zone, he flashed into UN territory. Just four tense minutes after crossing the border, he spotted the US Kimpo Air Base and decided to risk a landing. Radar people missed me, and also anti-aircraft gunners I was afraid of, they missed me. He decided to land, when, to his amazement, he saw a saber coming straight towards him at the opposite end of the runway. Well, he hadn't seen me, so we landed together, both ends. And then we passed in the runway, and of course I knew he was there, he was coming down. But he hadn't seen me until we passed. Then after passed, of course he was frightened. That at the end of the runway, he stopped the engine and he jumped out. And he was wondering what kind of a nuts landed from wrong side. Commanders at the base panicked, thinking the war had started again, and scrambled every plane they had. Lieutenant No Kum Sok did not know of the reward. He just wanted to fly to freedom. The surrendered MiG-15 was taken to Okinawa, where it was dismantled and rigorously examined. Later, it was airlifted to the United States and underwent further exhaustive flight testing. The plane was pushed to its limits by America's top test pilots, Tom Collins and the world-renowned Chuck Yeager. The test flights proved that indeed the MiG was an exceptional plane, but revealed no new supersonic technology. The defector, Lieutenant No Kum Sok, went to work for the US government and became an American citizen. 